my theme of getting the best from the sea, I want to emphasize how important it is to give loving care to your boat. So every time you do a haul out, there are things to be done. And one of those is changing the anodes. The anodes, you say? Well, I want to talk about corrosion on boats. And one of those types of corrosion is called galvanic corrosion. And that's from two dissimilar metals, like bronze prop and a stainless steel drive shaft, coupled together in an electrolyte called seawater. And it makes a battery. Unfortunately, the anode part tends to corrode. It wants to return to its native state. So we have to do something about that. Now in the case of a bronze prop and a stainless steel shaft, it's the bronze prop that's the anode that will go and be damaged by this phenomenon of galvanic corrosion. So what we do is we put something on there, we call an anode, and it's made of zinc. And zinc will corrode before the bronze does. So that will protect our bronze prop. Let's have a look over here. This is my prop. It's a bronze prop and it has a stainless steel shaft to drive it. And that's why we have to protect the bronze prop from corrosion. And as I mentioned before, this is called galvanic corrosion from two dissimilar metals into an electrolyte. The electrolyte in this case is seawater. So here is the old zinc anode that I have to take off. And you can just barely see there's a second one on the shaft itself. And down here is another uh, piece of zinc that protects the bronze support for the stainless steel shaft inside the rudder. Now getting these old anodes off is going to be a bit difficult. So I suggest you get some WD-40 or some sort of penetrating oil and soak the screws that you can find for a while and that will help get them off. time to clean the prop and to do that these circular brushes work quite well I suggest you get some safety equipment some gloves and a face mask and let's go to work this supporting piece off with a cotter key here which I'm going to work out and then a big wrench oh that's really on there more uh more WD-40 And we'll have to let that sit for a while. Well, I had, I had some trouble getting this one out. I got one screw out and then I resisted. So I had to resort to a hammer and a cold chisel. And I finally got it loose enough. So now 
this group will come out. Finally got it. Well, we let this sit for a while and now we're gonna try again. And <laughs> it's gonna come off now. Some progress. Still more to go. We're gonna clean up. We clean up as much of this old uh, primer and paint as we can and uh, clean the shaft. You can see the anodes here. Uh, these were the anodes that go on the end of the prop shaft. And in my hand here is the new one, which I'll put on. These are two different brands of anodes to protect the uh, support for the shaft. Of the rudder. You can see the old one in my left hand. And this is the old and new uh, anode that goes onto the stainless shaft itself. And finally, it's all the equipment you need to hold the end anode onto the end of the shaft. Well, we've cleaned up the prop as well as we can. There's still some, some old uh, primer or paint on it, but everything has been polished with a wire brush on a drill, uh, sandpaper, scrapers. I've got pretty much everything that's loose off of the prop. We've also cleaned it with a universal cleaner, acetone. So there's no grease, no loose pieces. And I'm gonna put the props the uh, sorry, I'm gonna put the anodes back on and then uh, mask it and then put the first coat of primer on. Now you can see the difference here between this used uh, prop anode and a brand new one. But you want to be careful because I bought these two, they look the same, but they're not really, they're two different brands and they're not available over here in Europe. You have to order from the States. And the problem is, this inner part is different with the two. So don't try to think you're just going to order the outside part and, and save some money. You have to be a bit careful. Same thing with the anodes for the uh, rudder shaft. They're two different brands, but the spacing here is the same for my, for my boat. So when you order them, be careful what you're ordering and double check. Well, since yesterday, I've managed to get three coats of primer and now four coats of Trilux anti-fouling on the prop. So I'm going to let that dry till tomorrow. You only need uh, 60 minutes between coats on the on this particular primer and for Trilux the instructions say 30 minutes between coats but I'm going to let it dry anyway. The other thing we didn't do yesterday was talk about Loctite. Now, I didn't put Loctite on the screws yesterday because what I had in stock was all gelled up and, and wouldn't work. So I bought some new Loctite this morning. So tomorrow I'm gonna to take some of these screws back out and put some Loctite on it to make sure they don't come loose when they're all underwater. Now, Loctite is a bit complicated. I suggest you go to their internet site and find out what products correspond to your needs. They keep changing their products and the nomenclatures and they're a little hard to follow. But this stuff works.
So now we've got the anode for the rudder shaft, the stainless steel rudder shaft, and the bronze support piece to keep this bronze support piece from corroding with the contact with the stainless steel. So that's on. I'm going to mask him off for the, when we finally do the anti-fouling for the, for the hull. So we're done. I suggest you leave the masking tape on the anodes until you finish painting anti-fouling on your hull. This is that second piece I was discussing. Uh, this piece has two anodes and this is the condenser for the refrigeration uh, aboard the boat. So I've got to clean all this up uh, and get it ready for some new anodes. The old ones are non-existent. They rotted away I don't know how long ago. So let's get started. Well, I've got the condenser unit pretty clean. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And I've got some new anodes, which are two kind of disc things. And I cleaned up the screws. So I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to use, as I was talking about, some Loctite on it. Nice clean screw on a four millimeter allen key. So I put some Loctite on this and put this in. That's one. Two screws. 